Today, we are publishing our application directly on Google Play, and we're doing that very quickly. We're doing that with the minimum effort, but uh, at the end of the day, we're going to have a, a link that we can send to internal tester, a link that you could send to the whole world for them to test out your game and play your game and have it release out there like everybody else on Google Play Store. Now, do know that there is two steps to this video. The first step is what you should be doing with your game. So there's a couple of config that you'll have to check on the right hand side over here. And then the second step is Google Play themselves. Do know that for this, you'll need first an application that's buildable for Android. And then second, you'll need to have a Google Play account, which is a Google Play developer account, which is 25 Canadian dollar um, front. So you'll have to play that once and then you can release as many apps as you want. Just wanted to give you a quick heads up so you're not surprised a little bit later in the video. Speaking of the video, if you like it, please drop a like and uh, let's get right into it. Okay, so let's start with the first section. The first section will have to do with inside of the engine, what you can do with your game. How can you build your APK? So I've got my game over here. Um, it doesn't have to be complete, but for the purpose of you know testing this out, it doesn't have to be complete, but in your case, I do wish that it is. Um, let's go ahead and open up the build settings in which we can then open up the player settings. We're gonna to need to make sure we have a couple of things in here on the right hand side. We will need to, well first, fill in all that information as much as you can. So if you wanna have icons for your game, um, come and put some over here, you know, decide whether or not your phone's gonna be only going in um, portrait, landscape. In my case, I only want portrait, so I'm gonna choose that. And then what else do we need? We need to go under the other settings and make sure we have a package name. So package name always goes like this, come dot the name of your brand and then the name of your game. Next up, we have the version and that one isn't important if it's the first time you publish to Google Play, but it's going to be important if you wanna do an update to your game. So right now I'm on 0 0.1, which is totally fine, but if I wanna push a new version of my game, I'll have to increment this by at least one. Um, same thing with the bundle code version actually. So right now we haven't pushed anything. We don't need to do any update. Um, so let's leave it on 0 0.1 and then 1, but do know that when you want to push an update, when you want to fix some bug, you'll have to increment both of these. Okay, so which one are we targeting? Um, Jelly Bean is fine for me. And the rest is pretty much all right. So I'm not going to go too much in detail over here. This is almost ready to go. What do I mean by almost? Well, we have to go under publishing settings and actually sign this APK to say, hey, this APK comes from us and we are the creator of that APK. So if you wanna if you wanna update that in the future, you'll need to make sure that it's me and not somebody else who stole my account who wants to um, you know, upload a new APK, which is just gonna be say a, a malware application on top of your application and push that update to all your users. So um, right now what you'll need to do is either create a key store or use an existing one. If you already created one, you already know how it works good on you, just go ahead and select it. But if you don't know what a key store is, it's basically just like a SSH key. It's it's something that only you will have, basically. Um, and never show that around. If you share this around, then somebody can overwrite your application, as we've just mentioned. So it's the first time I actually create a, um, a game using this new account, this new brand. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a create a new key store. And that's very important for me right now. So what I'll do, I'll put it in my desktop um, for the moment. So name of my brand, let's do um, key store and make sure that, you know, this thing right now is, is going to be on my desktop, but I'll need to back this up somewhere and put it somewhere secure, even maybe encrypted if you feel like it. Um, and you'll also need to put a password. So let's go ahead with the, this one sounds good. That's a good password right here. Okay. So once we have filled in a desired path where the key is going to be created, once we have a password protecting it, you'll then need to actually, um, okay, so that's a little bit hard to explain. We have a key store that may contain multiple key. Right now, it's on unsigned, which means, okay, we got a key store backing this APK up, backing this game up, but the game itself doesn't have a key. And you'll need to have that as well. So what I'm trying to say is that in the future, if you grow a studio, uh, and you grow a brand, you have multiple game, you can use the same exact key store, but they might have different key for every single game. Like right now, I have this main key store, which I'll be using in the future, but right now I wanna create a key for my Monk March application. So I'm gonna go right over here, create a new key, and we'll have to fill in a couple of information. So I mean, let me go ahead and do that. 
Okay, so let's go through it quickly. Elias is, you know, what, what's the name of that new application to some extent. Um, password is going to be a second set of password. It's not the same one as before. So you have a password for entering the key store and then you have a password for encrypting um, the, the specific application key. Then uh, validity, you just put whatever you want, to be honest. If you want this to expire in one year because you have a contract with, say, Marvel, and in one year that contract is going to expire, um, that might be them that let you know that you, know, you can't go beyond that point. Uh, first, last name, that's fine. Organization, you know, all that kind of stuff that are not really relevant. But you create that key, which as soon as my computer unfreeze, because I don't know why, it's supposed to be on my desktop, it's not a protected area, but as soon as it unfreeze, you'll now have access to your key. It's now linked. And if you click on this thing, you'll find your application in the list, in the drop-down list. And it's very important that you change to it before you build. When you do change, they're going to ask you for a password. So type in your new password. And um, I think we're good. I think we're good. You can also try to mimify your application, which I won't, because I know that if I do that now, it's not going to turn out good. Um, okay. So we got all the configuration ready, as far as I can remember, for a build. Going under build settings, I've got my Android, and say I want to start at the start menu, that's fine. You know, my game doesn't really go beyond that point, but <laughs> I will try that on. So we build, and that's going to be our version 0.1. I'm going to go ahead and put that directly in my folder. The next step for today is going to be right here, play.google.com and we'll have to create ourselves an account. If you haven't done that before, do know that there is a fee, but it's a one-time fee. So as soon as you have like, you know, completed your payment once, you can publish as many app as you want in the future, monetize them as much as you want in the future. You just need to pay that one-time fee to Google. So we sign in with your Google account. We accept the developer agreement, which is down here. Um, and we prepared our credit card. Sure, continue to payment. Now, for obvious reason, I'll skip this one, but hey, I'll be back in a second. All right, looks like everything was fine and I didn't get declined. That's a rare sight. Okay, so as you can see over here, um, while that was happening, I've got my APK, which is in my folder full of crap. And we'll just need to keep that in mind for the future. So we need the developer name, so go ahead and fill in that information. Uh, the information was filled in. Now I am inside of my console, finally. That cost me $25 to see this console. Amazing. Um, okay, it's time to start earning money and it's time to start publishing some apps, guys. Let's go ahead and create ourselves a new application under all application. Yep, we want to go for US, why not? Or English, that is. And I'll call this one Monk March 2019. Um, I think that once you create it, you can't remove it, so just be really careful with that. Mine is going to stay on Alpha and it's going to be hidden Alpha, so there is not that thing. Um, laying down in the public like everybody can see it actually it's gonna be something quite private um, but from what I remember I don't think I can actually remove that that easily so be careful with that create button let's go ahead and look at that okay we're gonna need a couple of things before we publish so everything you see on the on the left hand side over here that has a checkbox you will need this before you actually publish so let's actually go at the top let's start here at the top we are going to take one of the tracks. So there's quite many different track you're going to, to see over here. So either you're pushing that in production, which means everybody can see it right away. Um, open beta, that's up to you. Close beta, which is an alpha basically. <laughs> internal test track and pre-registration. So for myself, I will be doing a internal test track. So, you know, I'll start with that. And once everything is ready, you can go and upload that directly to production. Or if you have a beta, you can do that. You can send emails to your friend and they can test out in, in you know, that kind of fashion. Um, but as I said, I think beta is something that you just you know you say how many people you want and then you can uh, invite anybody with a link. Um, while close track is you invite them with their email directly. So you're targeting people and with the open beta is like, hey, I'm pushing a link, say on Reddit and people can come test out if they want. Um, but we don't want that. I'm going to go under internal test track, create a new release. Okay, so once we're inside of one of these pipeline, one of these track, they call it, they, um, well, recently, they just offered a new service, as, I'm, as, as far as I'm understanding, I haven't seen this before, but I think um, they let you, like, manage that key store we were talking about. I actually don't like that. <laughs> um, I'd rather do it myself, you know, I can, I can keep my own key store um, safe on my hard drive and I can back it up myself, so I will hop out of that, but I encourage that if it's your first time, 
you should opt in. It's Google. I mean, you can trust them, right? Um, we trust them with so much info. Anyway, let's see. Next up is we're going to need our files. So let me go ahead and go back to my folder. As we said earlier, oh, here it is. That's my APK. I will be drag and dropping this right in here. Could also go there with the link probably. Um, yeah, release name. Let's call this 0.1 actually. Yeah, that's pretty good. Now everything worked quite good, which means we did everything right. But in your case, if you forgot something, if your version code is not right, if your application version is not right, if you don't have a com or a package name, then it's going to tell you right here. There's going to be a problem. You won't be able to go any further. If your application is not signed, that's very important. It's, it's going to tell you right here. So what do I mean by that? Everything that was under publishing setting here has to be done. The key has to be on your new application name. Other setting has to be filled in. Once everything like that is done, you won't have any problem installing this directly. So please triple check before you leave a comment. <laughs> right. Okay. What's new this release? Yeah, sure. Whatever. Um, Initial commit. Does that work here? We'll find out. Save. Your changes has been saved and we got our very first green check mark, which means we're on the good way to make this work. Short description. Test. Full description. Bigger test. Okay, that sounds good thus far. We will need graphical assets and that's important um, to display on the store. Even though your app isn't public, you still want to have a, a page generated for that. So they need they need those um, screenshot for reference and they need those screenshot for their page that they made for you basically. Obviously here you are to make something good, something attracting, something people can click on. Unlike me, which is basically just going to go under file, new and create something with the minimum size, which seems to be 320 pixel. So, and there we go. I'll go ahead and represent my, uh, <laughs> my state a bit. I enjoy them quite a lot. So let's go ahead we have our graphics we can upload that make sure we can go through the oh, messy desktop and what else do we have to do so we got one screenshot i think you need at least two so let's go ahead and see if this is gonna work it did amazing save draft so we still didn't get the green check mark which means hey you need to add a high res icon you need to add a feature graphic select a category and then a privacy um thing so here they are you, you can see the little star next to it so pretty high res icon there we go oh okay we're gonna have to do 512 by 512 not a big deal if you haven't noticed yet i'm the kind of person that get things done um even though they're not always good looking so let's go ahead uh so we've done we've done our graphic our required graphic the one that had the the star next to it next up gonna go down here it's gonna be a game it's gonna be a action game and what else content rating that will be in the other page this page um, everything else seems to be just fine. I'm glad they don't have my phone number. That's actually quite uh, cool. And we are not going to be submitting a privacy policy URL at this time, but it's something that you have to do on release if you don't want to get, uh, I don't know if you can get fined for it, but you can definitely get taken down. So as soon as we save the draft, we got our second green check. Let's go under content rating. This one is very fast. You just go through a questionnaire, um, email address, because they need to send you the answer after that. So let's go ahead and enter ours. Confirm. Yep. Confirm. Well done. So do we have violence? No. Do we have fear? No. Do we have sexuality? No. Do we have gambling? No. Do we have a harsh uh, No. No drugs. No crude humor though. You know, that's my favorite thing in the whole world. Um, so we don't let people speak to each other. We don't share their GPS location. They don't buy anything with in-app purchase yet. I guess, I guess they will in the future. But they don't now, so I can script the question. <laughs> uh, no Swatsika, no Nazi, no, no, no Korean stuff. That's actually a fun one. Um, know how to make bombs and also no terrorism. Save. What kind of rating are we going to get? Probably a E for everyone. So where's my rating? Oh, calculate rating over here. So we got a G for general in Australia and then E for everyone in ESRB. So that's perfect. Let's do the apply rating and we should get our green check mark. Now it comes down to the pricing and distribution. My app is going to be free. We are going to be sharing this with 144 countries in the world. 
So let's put that one available. What else? Is your app primarily directed towards children of 13 and below? Nope. If you if you check that, by the way, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to check a lot more things. Like uh, it's not that easy to make a game that's directed to ch children 13 and below. So I hope you know what you're doing. <laughs> so does the application contain ads? In our case, it did, but it doesn't anymore. Um, you know, there there ain't much things to do here if you do enable that. And what else? Nope, nope, nope. Manage Google Play. Not yet. Maybe one day. Marketing up out. Do not promote my game. I'll actually opt out of that. Um, simply because it's not a real game. Content guideline. Yep, it does meet them. And it meets the US export law as well. Save. And we've got it, boys. We've got our app ready to go. It says ready to publish. All right, so here we go. We got our application ready to publish. Once we're done, we're going to go back in the first section under app release. We're going to find our application, whichever track you decided to take. Um, production, if you're ready to push this to public. And for me, I said it's going to be the internal test track. So I'm going to go down there and we're going to look at our release. Everything seems fine. Review. And then we're going to be, um, well, we're going to be shown with a couple of warnings. So what are these warnings? Okay, so in my case, this warning is actually good for me. I did not want anybody to see this, and it just says, okay, well, you know, there ain't going to be anybody that can see it. So that, that's fine. That's a warning message that I, I can deal with. Um, and here we go. We press that shiny blue button. Yep, we've got warning. That's totally fine. Confirm. And we wait. So it's done. Um, we have a stage that is called publication, pending publication in this case, that just means that Google has to look at this really quickly and approve it. Now, I don't know if they're going to open my thing and test it out, but if they do, you know, it's since the application is under internal tests, I don't really think they have to, but when you're gonna go to production, you'll have to wait maybe up to 24 hours, I think, I'm not sure, don't quote me on that, but up to 24 hours for what somebody to review this, and once it's done, they approve, and you'll have your store listing over here well you have the same application but all the different tracks um under here so all of these are empty but internal test track hey full rollout is done and that's it all right guys you also have access to the statistics um, after that so of course you can enjoy that as as much as you want so that will be it for today it is quite an easy episode actually it's actually much easier than most of the release process i think i'm thinking about Apple right now and um we, we shall look at that in the future again once Unity release their their new tool that will let you release on multiple different stores at the same time. So I can't wait for that. But until then, we are going to be ending this here, guys. Thank you so much for watching once again. Please check out Patreon and Discord and YouTube. Subscribe to YouTube. We are having a, we have a lot of active people right now, so it's, um, it's quite fun. The community is growing quite nice, and I enjoy you guys being a part of it. Genuinely. Did I say that right? Genuinely? Genuinely. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching once again. See you tomorrow. Cheers.